With the fall semester officially underway at UTEP, it also means a return of parking headaches. Last month, parking passes went on sale with some students uh, are saying to KTSM that it, looked, it took them hours to get their hands on a pass. Today, our Diana Castillo was on campus and joined us live with what students have to say. Well, Estela, 150 to $400, that's how much these parking passes are costing to students. Now, we asked students about this and they say that while they paid for a pass, the difficult part is finding a space. It's a brand new semester at UTEP, and while students are adjusting to their new class schedules, many are also adjusting or readjusting to parking on campus. Well, all I know is you have to prepare yourself uh, a little bit ahead of time. Uh, make sure you have like an hour before you leave the house. The majority of students who attend UTEP commute there every single day, and some say getting a parking pass is the way to go. Well, I have a stumble garage, and I haven't had many issues, just that obviously it gets full. So I feel like the earlier you come, the better it is. A parking permit for the Sun Bowl and Schuster garages is going to cost about $400 a year. That's the pricier option, but some say it's worth the money. I think so, because you have more like a, an actual spot instead of like, especially the first weeks of class, because you can get like towed or whatever. Other students we talked to said they had to upgrade their passes from last year to have more time to get to class. And some did so due to the school's shuttle system. And the reason I got the more expensive one was because the shuttles, they took so long sometimes. Um, most of the time, most of the shuttles weren't working, so I did waste a lot of time just waiting for the shuttle to get here and there and vice versa. Now, while we were on campus, we did see one of the shuttles was not working, while others seemed to be operating with no issues. Additionally, there's been complaints about UTEP not having enough parking spots, leaving many to find one off campus. University officials sent us a statement saying, the university sells parking permits based on International Parking Institute guidelines to ensure maximum use of parking spaces, taking into account vehicle turnover between classes. Now, we did ask about those uh, permit prices, and uh, officials did tell us that those prices have not changed in comparison to last year. Now, we also saw some complaints about people saying that it took them hours to buy those, those passes at the end of July. Now, we did ask students about that. One of them told us that they waited at least 30 minutes to get their pass, while others had no wait time. Now, overall, these students are telling us that it is important to get on campus early to secure a parking spot.